Hey, 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 it's Grips, and as always, thanks for joining me. All right, so you looked at the title and freaked out, wondered what the hell happened between Corral and Grips. Actually, nothing, because if you watch the rest of the video, which you have, you'll see in the beginning, it's not me that's complaining, it's some of the public, some of the viewers. Uh, as you know, I monitor the uh, YouTube channel for Corral Video as well, and I'll tell you what, those emails are not that nice. All right, so what are we, what's the problem here? Okay, so you're importing a video and it doesn't work. The video doesn't play or the audio doesn't play. You're getting a cannot play file and you're frustrated because you come and tell me that, hey, Grips, it plays in Windows Media, but it won't play in Corel Video Studio. Corel Video Studio sucks balls. No. When you import it into Windows Media or your media player, the media player doesn't use the codec in the conventional way that it does in a non-linear editing software. What do I mean? Well, if I bring our video into my linear software, like in my case, Corel Video Studio, I have the option of splitting the audio. All right, and now I can play and I can change the audio and I can play, uh, change the video. That would require two types of codec, one for video, one for audio. You put it in the Windows Media Player, it doesn't require two types. It plays in a compressed format and it uses one codec to play. So this is where you're going to start running into problems. So therefore, codec, codec, codec. That's right. You need to start looking at your codec rather than sit there and blame your non-linear editing software. So let's say you do have a problem and you need to figure out, all right, I get it. I need a codec. How do I figure it out? All right, let's... Uh, Let's have a look at a project here. I'm gonna show you how you can fix your codec problems. Let's have a look at this clip here. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go into open with, and I have a little software called G-Spot. I've been using this for years and it's the best thing you could do. It's an open source, very small. I'll put the link in the description. You can download it. I'll even show you how you can add it to the list. Click on G-Spot and bam, it tells you everything you need to know about your video. It tells me what codec I'm using in the video. So I'm using uh, Nivan's video codec one, which is basically H.264, latest format that everybody's using. Really good compression, very high quality. That's why everybody's using it, especially YouTube and Vimeo. Then I have my audio here. Again, I have an MP, uh, MP4A codec, so it's different to the video codec. And this is where sometimes you have problems. If everything is yellow and green, that means your system can handle it. You can even run a test by pressing here, MS1. It'll go, yep, everything was fine. Now, this also tells you if there's a problem, and if it is, it might offer you a solution as well, like please go to this link and download this codec in order to play this file. And this is how you can fix your codec problem, by using a little tool like uh, G-Spot. Absolutely brilliant. If you are having problems, like as you can see, all I did was right click, open with. And I gave myself that option of choosing a uh, direct. If you, if you also want to do that, just uh, I'll show you how we do it. So you go here, open with, and now you can see I don't have that option. So I choose default program, and then I uncheck this because I don't want this to be my default program, and I browse. And now I'm going to look for where I installed G-Spot, and then I'm going to look for the execution file and add it to the list. All right, so that's how we can do it. Another little, uh, another one you can add as well is. Uh, media info i've told it, i've mentioned this quite a lot download this too it's a really quick way of seeing let's see if i can do it again uh yep media info here it is it just really allows you to see quickly everything about your video as well what codec you're using the bit rate the, the megabytes everything you want to know you can go into a tree format and it really gives you all the information about your video but g-spot will actually help you figure out what's wrong with it and you can also do this go into a uh, search just type in window that'll bring up windows media player okay and then you go into help and if you don't see help go organize layout show menu bar that'll bring up the menu bar help about windows media player if you go to technical support it launches your web browser and here we go and this will tell you all the codec that's installed on your system now these are these are all the uh, codexes and packs. Now if I go back into say G-Spot, let me go back into G-Spot and launch it. Uh, yes, I can also see what the pack contains. So let's say I have a problem with my codec, I can then look at individual codecs within these packs. Remember the these ones are just your packs. 
I'm now going to show you all the codecs that's listed within those packs. And as you can see, there's quite a lot. All right, that's all my video and my audio codecs, right? Now, I can see I have a problem here, a red, right? So that would mean I'm having a problem here. It says, well, it's a Prodat, that's the format. This is the name, Prodat Codec, so, and I'm missing something. Here you go, I'm missing a file. So that would mean all I need to do is go and do a Google search and find the missing file and install it. Otherwise, I'm gonna have problems running Prodad. And in my case, I'm probably gonna have problems running Prodad. <laughs> so I can easily fix it up by just doing it this way. So I can go through this whole list find out anything that's wrong. I think I've got one more, here we go, another one, file missing, see? So this is my FMRT, uh, I won't tell you what that is, you can Google it, but it's a really good compression software. And I'm also missing a file here, and again, I'm gonna have issues with that if I try to run it, so I can then go look for the uh, DivX codex and then reinstall that, and then I'm gonna have no more problems running videos that require those sorts of formats. So I hope this helped everybody out. Again, Kodak, 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 and I recommend two basic ones. K-Lite Kodak Pack, it's probably the best one you can have, and VLC. If you download VLC Media Play, it brings in all the latest Kodaks available. Sorry, I'll, I'll mention one more, and that's Lagerith. Lagerith is absolutely brilliant, especially for AVI uh, compressions. So there you go, my friends. If you have a problem with your video, it's most likely your Kodak, and not the actual program that you're using. And as always, thanks for watching.